Hi, I'm Kelly from Creative Fabrica, and I'm going to show you how to use Creative Fabrica Studio to create amazing sublimation designs with your silhouette. We're going to cover a few different ways that you can create your designs in Creative Fabrica Studio and the kinds of effects that you can get from them. Well, let's get started. To get started with Creative Fabrica Studio, I'm going to go to studio.creativefabrica.com and I'm going to click on the Creative Fabrica Studio icon. This is Creative Fabrica's online design platform that allows you to create designs for sublimation and so many other crafts with the help of their really smart, fun tools and pretty expansive asset library. It also has an AI art generation tool, backgrounds, patterns, fonts, as well as thousands of templates and a vectorizer tool. You can also upload your own elements, photos, images, graphics, and more. So we're gonna get started with a new design. So I'm going to click on add new design. And in this step is where you want to select the size of whatever it is that you're going to be working with. So because I'm not in the US, I'm going to be using a four but if you are in the US, you might want to use a letter format, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. And if you want to change the width and the settings, you can do so here. So you can change it to inches and then you can make it 8.5 by 11 inches. And then once you've selected the size that you want, we're going to click create new design and it'll open up onto a new canvas for you. Depending on how zoomed in or out you want to be, you can zoom in on this side in the top right hand side. So if you want to zoom in a little bit, you can do that. And if you want to change it to a dark format, you can do that by clicking on the moon or go back to the light format by clicking on the little sun. The first option we're going to take a look at is how to use Spark AI. So once you click on the image, you can type in a prompt in the gray box and it will bring up anything you want. So like you saw, I had mine set to book dragon. And once you click create image, it'll generate four different images for you. And if you want to, you can just regenerate those and create four more ones. Now I really like this one that I've created. So I'm going to click on it and it'll automatically add it to my canvas. I'm going to zoom in and I want to combine this image with a background. So I'm going to click on background and type in library and scroll through some of the images that they have. The first one is perfect for what I want. So I'm going to click on it and it'll add to my canvas. But I do want this cropped to a circle. So I'm going to click on the crop option and select circle and it'll automatically crop my image to a circle. And if you want a different section of the image to be cropped, you can unlock the layer, double click on the image itself and move it across or whichever way you want to have it on. I'm going to then increase the size of my little book dragon so that he fills up the space nicely. And then I'm going to add in some text to my sticker. So I'm going to click on the text box and there are many pre-made designs that you can already choose from, which I love, but I'm going to just add a normal text field and I'm going to type in, I'm not a bookworm, I'm a book dragon. Now I'm going to separate these two, reduce the size of the writing, and then I'm going to play around with the text a bit so that it works for me. Apply a curve to it because I want it to curve around the circle. And because I want to invert the direction, I can click on direction inverted and have this exactly how I want it. And once you're happy with your design, you can group it all. Our next option is to upload our own designs to Creative Fabrica Studio. So I'm going to click upload files and the file that I'm going to be using are these beautiful whimsical butterflies that you can download to your computer and save them. Once they're saved to your computer, come back to Creative Fabrica Studio, click upload files and add in whichever one you want to upload. Once it has been uploaded, you can click it and add it to your canvas, resize it so that it fits. You can even add in a text element that will automatically add to the top left-hand side of your screen. And you can then drag that over your design and make it the right size. 
You can double click on it to change any wording that you might want to use, but I quite like the wording that they have here. So I'm going to select both of these elements and add a border weight so that we can see the words easily. And that would be something perfect to sublimate onto a coaster. The third option is to use their ready-made graphics. So we're going to click on graphics and you can type in pretty much whatever it is that you're looking for. So again, I'm going to stick with the book dragon theme and type in book dragon and scroll until I find some images that I like. And once I have one or two images, I can close the panel and start playing around with them. Once I'm done with all of the designs that I want to use, I'm going to click share, download, and if I want it to be a transparent background, so I don't want the white element there, I can click remove background and download the PNG file and it will then be a transparent image. I'm then going to open Silhouette Studio and I'm going to make sure that my canvas is set to landscape because I want to be able to easily put set up my mug template on this size. So I'm going to create a square and the size is roughly 9.5 centimeters by around 21 centimeters. Creative Fabrica also has lots of mug template and other sublimation bundles that you can download if you rather use a pre-made template as opposed to creating your own. I'm then going to open the elements that I've downloaded, right click, release compound path so that I can play around with each of the elements. And before I do anything, I'm going to individually grab each image. So I'm going to drag over the first dragon, right click, make a compound path so that it's just one element. And then do the same for the second dragon as well. Make it a compound path. And then we have our two elements with all of their little bits and pieces together. I'm going to select them both and bring them over to my canvas, resize them a little bit so that they fit inside my mug template and play around with the sizing until I'm happy. And once you're happy with your sublimation mug design, you can click on the print icon and send it to your sublimation printer to print. Making sure that you have your correct color profiles installed and making sure to mirror your image if you need to. So we're going to click print and we're going to print out our design. And of course, from here, you can use any mug press that you have and press your sublimation design onto a sublimation ready mug. And you can have an awesome, very easy sublimation project using Creative Fabrica Studio. And you can, of course, also use these exact same elements to make print and cut stickers. If you want to learn how to use print and cut, make sure to check out this video here. Leave a comment below to let me know what you thought of this video and if there are any other videos that you would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe to Creative Fabrica for more inspiring videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. If you want to learn more about Creative Fabrica Studio, there is a dedicated Studio Tips and Tricks channel, which you can find in the description to learn more about Creative Fabrica Studio. Anything that you create in Studio, you are free to use, whether it's commercially or personally. Thank you so much for joining and remember, be kind to someone today. See you soon.